Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton, and I am the author of Staying Healthy in the Fast Lane. And what I wanted to do was take sections out of the book, main themes, and talk about them for two or three minutes as a way for you to understand more about what the book is about and how to use it to help you be and stay well in the busy modern world. So one of the main premises in Staying Healthy in the Fast Lane is a concept called industrialization, meaning as countries or societies move from agrarian areas to the high urban areas, busy uh, city areas, they change their diet and they change their lifestyle. It's called urbanization. And so in the United States over the last hundred years, one of the things that the USDA has done a great job of is looking at dietary patterns. And fundamental to the changes that have occurred in our health are these five dietary patterns. And they're graphs in the book that, I, that you really need to look at because they're very profound. Number one is over the last hundred years, we've increased our total meat consumption. Number two is we've increased our fats and oils. Number three, we've increased cheese consumption. In fact, it's skyrocketed. Number four, we've increased sugar consumption, both high fructose corn syrup and sucrose. Now, interestingly, number five is we actually consume more grains at the turn of the century in the early 1900s, and it, it bottomed out in like the 1970s, and now it's going up again. But the problem is 85% of those grains are refined grains. Now, what's all that mean? Those are all calorie dense foods and they've led to an approximate 500 or so calories in excess than we did a century ago. If you take 500 calories a day in excess, that's a pound a week. We have an epidemic of obesity in the United States and overweight issues. More than two thirds of our population has those, those problems. So, very simply, and these five dietary patterns are happening all over the world as economies grow. India, highest rate of heart disease per capita in the world. China having, and Asia, rampant increases in heart disease, diabetes, obesity. So, the biggest thing that we can do as a country for healthcare reform and to re remain financially solvent is just to reverse those six things. And we do it by eating non-processed foods. So, we want to reduce our animal consumption. We want to cut out the fats and oils. We want to cut out the sugars. What we want to do is increase fruits and vegetables and whole grains, not refined grains, but whole grains in their whole state. So if we reverse all those five dietary patterns, we will essentially dramatically reduce heart disease, cancer, diabetes, obesity, without a drug or anything. And that is really my passion to get people to understand that the most powerful medicine is for them to change their diet in those five patterns and then get some exercise. And so I encourage you to pick up Staying Healthy in the Fast Lane. In chapter one, we review that. We have the six graphs from the USDA they're five graphs from the USDA, and they're excellent, and they will make it so obviously clear that real health care reform has nothing to do with the government. It has you, it's about you changing four or five dietary patterns and getting more exercise. So, pick up the book. You can order it off my website, prescription2000.com. I'm ordering a, offering a 40% discount, so you can get it for like $11, or excuse me, about $10, and you just type in the code RX40 when you order it, and instead of $16.99, you'll get it for $10.12 or something like that. Okay, so I'll talk to you soon. And again, the book is Staying Healthy in the Fast Lane, and I know you'll enjoy it.